Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to make a right cross cable and a left cross cable, a 2 over 2. This works just as well for 3 over 3, 2 over 1, 1 over 2, any combination, but I'm going to show you how to cross the stitches from right to left and left to right using a cable needle. I also have videos on how to do this same technique without a cable needle and I'll put a link up in the corner to those. So we have our four stitches here. In this particular one I want it to be leaning to the right. That means these two stitches are going to come on top of these two and go to the right. In order to keep them in the front and move them to the right we need to move these two stitches out of the way. That's where the cable needle comes in. I'm just using a little auxiliary needle. You can use anything you want for a cable needle. It just needs to be the same size or smaller than the working needle. Move those two stitches knitwise, just straight over. I mean purlwise, just straight over. Don't change their orientation. Move that to the back. So that's going to the back. Then we're going to work the next two stitches as normal. Then we're going to place those two stitches from the cable needle onto the left needle or you can knit them directly off the cable needle. I like to just put them back on the left needle and then knit them. So what we have done here is just switched those two stitches. These two stitches used to be over here. Now they're in the front. And these two, which used to be to the right, are now to the left, but they're going across the back. So this makes a right-leaning cable. Now let's do it the same way, but holding the yarn in the right hand. So I'm just going to switch where I'm holding my yarn. And the first thing I'm going to do is just move those two stitches out of the way to the back onto the cable needle. Then I'm going to knit the following two stitches. Then I'm going to move these back to the left needle. My right needle is in the way, but you can see. And then I'm going to knit them from the left needle. Now we have two right-leaning cable crossings next to each other. Now we're going to do the left. Starting holding the yarn in the left hand, these next four stitches, we want these two to come in front and move over to this position. Therefore, these will have to go to the back and come over to this position. They're just changing positions. So what we'll do is, in this case, we need to be able to get to these to move them to this side. These need to come in the front because we want it to be a left cross cable with these in the front, so we move them to the front on the cable needle. Then we knit the following two, put these back, and knit them. And we can see that this is now leaning to the left. Let's do the same thing, holding the yarn in the right hand. Oops. Okay, I'm going to switch the yarn to my right hand. I've got my cable needle. I'm going to move the next two stitches to the front onto the cable needle. Then I'm going to knit the two stitches from behind. I'm putting the two stitches back to the left needle from the cable needle. And knitting those two stitches. And there you have it. It's very simple. Be sure to check out the video linked up in the top right corner up here on how to do this without a cable needle. Once you try that, you'll never turn back, I promise. Happy knitting. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.